Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to embed YouTube video in your Angular application with the help of Angular YouTube player package. So let's get started with the video. So for this, uh, we will go as a step by step process. So first question is how to render the YouTube video in your Angular application. For this, uh, Angular provided a support with the help of a YouTube player npm package. So what we will do is like we will just create a boilerplate code here for Angular. So this will provide a sample code which will be runnable with a minimal code we have. So in this thing, we are going to add a YouTube video with the YouTube player component. As the first step, we need to install Angular slash YouTube player NP package. So we'll go here and click the dependencies and enter the package name and click enter. It will install the dependencies and save the node models packages in the folder. In the next step, we need to import YouTube player module. So here we will have angular module.ts. So we need to add in this place. So we go to app.module.ts and import angular slash YouTube hyphen player. Let's see whether autocomplete provides the yeah YouTube player module. And the same YouTube player model will go in the imports. Okay. So and we will be formatting this uh, file just to see uh, the code a little bit uh, uh, in good manner. Next step is we will add a YouTube component in the HTML file. For that, basically we will have a YouTube video in this uh, format like uh, youtube.com slash watch v equal to some ID. So basically this ID is the uh, unique ID of particular YouTube video. So if you go to this uh, particular video, any video you will see a ID here. You can just uh, Keep in mind like uh, while inserting the video. Here I just added a bulk plate code. It is like a YouTube player and I added a video ID with some ID and suggested quality as high resolution, height width for just to providing the sizes of the iframes we are going to use. Basically it will provide a YouTube iframe to our application and starting second and the ending second. It is basically like a additional parameters for the rendering video uh, ID and uh, height width uh, will be the basic things. So we'll just copy this. So we'll paste it under this. And uh, our application is rebuilding. So you could see nothing had happened here because um, we need to import a library which is provided by YouTube. Uh, this thing. It, it will be a CDN kind of uh, things. For that, we need to import YouTube API into our uh, script. Basically, uh, since it is a small application, uh, I'm importing it in index.html. So it is like uh, youtube.com slash iframe API. Basically what it will do is like it will import the iframe API CDN and on top of it, uh, our YouTube player component will uh, append our uh, YouTube video. So as you could see here, we just added a video here. Let's try to increase the width. Let's see whether it reflects. Yeah, it just got uh, uh, increased the width up to this place. Let's play. Okay, it was uh, playing uh, fine. So, and again, uh, in this web page, I had added uh, some other parameters that can be used within this particular YouTube player uh, HTML attribute. So you can try checking this uh, demo. I'll post this uh, documentation link as well as this uh, demo link in the description. So take a look and uh, share your feedbacks uh, with us. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting efficient user.